Right, so hi guys, Matt here with Drive Tech. And it's been 11 days into the movement control order and I hope everyone's doing fine. I've been wondering what video to do next and I decided to pick the cases which I have with me. So here's the commuter which I haven't reviewed yet. Usually I don't really like the commuter series. In my experience, when I first used the commuter series back 5-6 years when I had the Blackberry Bowl, even though it offered great protection, the build quality was sort of average, I should say at the materials they use and the finishing especially and it attracted a lot of lint and it was very flimsy at the corners but however with this new version for the iPhone 11 Pro Max they've actually improved on those areas and I'm very pleased to say that I can highly recommend this case so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing so before I start the unboxing if you haven't subscribed to this channel already hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post and we have actually reached 1,000 subs and I'll be doing a giveaway very, very soon. And I'm still planning out the process on how to do the giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so let's get into the unboxing. We can see the usual Autobox presentation. So there's Autobox logo in front and you can see there's a new design. So you can see this is the commuter series for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And you can also see that this is a Autobox certified drop tested. So no really detailed information on how they did it. Okay, so... At the side, you can see commuter series on the back. Perfect fit for your pocket. You can see there's also features for this case. Drop protection, dust protection, which is basically pot covers. And also last but not least, there's dual layer protection. It is not as thick as the Autobox Defender, which is very popular, has been very popular, but it offers very, very good drop protection. In fact, if you watch everything Apple Pro's video, you actually survive a drop from 50 feet, which is crazy for such a thin case. All right, so let's take it out of the box. Okay, so it's very nice, a sleeve design as usual. So you can see the case. I have this in the blue color. They have other colors as well. And I personally prefer the black color because the blue color is not really my choice personally. But if you do like it, yeah, you can get the blue one as well. It's a bit off. It's not really like a very bright blue color. So if you do see in the photos on their website, it is different from the actual case. And it's also different from the iPhone 7 series because the iPhone 7 series is slightly darker, almost purplish, I should say. But this is uh, more towards the blue spectrum. Okay, so you, this case right here, let's see what else do we have in the package. Let's take this sleeve out. So usual stuff. So we get Australian limited warranty. And also... This is a global limited warranty. So from my experience, Autobox has been very good with their products. So I didn't really need to claim any of the cases so far. Okay, let's put everything back and let's focus on the case itself. Okay. All right. So here's the Autobox commuter. You can see at the bottom, we get the Autobox branding, which is etched into the back portion of this case. And you can see there's also a black ring. So you will avoid flashbacks from the flash if you do use it. Okay, on the right side, we get the volume rockers and the cutout for the mute toggle. Okay, this is where the dust protection is. So this is actually a dust cover. However, this dust cover works well if you are using wireless charging, in my opinion. If you are using wired charging, this kind of gets in the way. So it like pushes up on the cable a little bit. You can see from here. So on the left side, we have the microphone and the right side, we have the speaker cutout. Okay, let's look at the right side. We have the regular power button. And the inside, let's take a look at the construction. So it's a two-piece case. Let me let me take this out of the back shell. You can see there's like a um, pattern on the inside. Let me get the camera to focus. So you can see the inside is like triangle shapes on the inside to help disperse shock. I'm, I'm not sure why they, they have a cutout here. They should just have covered it up with TPU. But anyway, you can see auto box. Certified drop protection on the inside. You can see these uh, sort of air pockets. So if you do drop your phone like this, because on the back, this is the part which actually contacts the surface it falls on and also increases grip. So it's a, it's a, it's a nice design. Uh, I do like that. And it keeps this in position as well with the back portion of the case. Okay, on both sides, you can see there's sort of like air cushions. Take a look at the sides you can see. Let me give you a closer look. Okay, so let me get this to focus. You can see there are also shock pockets at the corners. 
So overall, very, very nice and durable case. I like this very much. If it was black, I would have used it as my daily case. Okay, let's take a look at the outer shell. Basically, nothing much to the outer shell. It just holds the case in place so it doesn't like drop out. Okay, let's install the iPhone 11 Pro Max in this case. So let's start with the inside portion. So this one, you can put it however you like because there's basically no restrictions. Okay, so very nice. So let's start off from the bottom first because you know this flappy flap here is kind of like in the way if you push it on from the top. So the bottom is in. Let me dig out the flap so that it doesn't get in the way later on. And now the top. Right, so you can see it fits very nice and snugly. The pot protector goes in like this. So it's very nice and a pretty simple installation, I should say. So I do have auto box H to H tempered glass. And I tell you that this is the best tempered glass screen protector you can get. Because all the other protectors I try get scratches very easily, but this holds up very well over time. All right, so let's take a look at all the fitments so you can see nice cutout. Very precise for the camera at the bottom. You can see very nice and accurate cutouts as usual. Buttons work well. And also on the left side, volume buttons work. You can hear the click. There's a generous amount of space for the mute toggle. So overall, this case is a case that I didn't like at first, but over the generations, and over time, they have actually improved the case so that it is even more durable than before. And it doesn't attract too much lint. In fact, I would prefer this over the Autobox Defender, which I'll be reviewing next, most likely. Alright, so that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys like it. Hit the thumbs up button. And I'll leave the link to purchase this case in the description below. So thanks guys for all your support. I'm really excited with my 1,000 subs and the giveaway. I'll be announcing soon, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video.